Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at SQL and we're going to do an analysis project where we analyze departmental salary disparities. So the business case is a manager is seeking insights into salary disparities across different departments. Our objective is to create a query that identifies a high amount of variation in salaries within each department. So the deliverable, we need to deliver a list from a SQL database with average salary department and a way to score the variation for that department. Now, when you are often asked to deliver a list, they also want some analysis. So a question was asked, which department do you think has a lot of disparities? Then we get a potential answer. The PWD department has been flagged as a department that has a high amount of salary spread. So this will direct our analysis and be able to give us a point of insight that we can answer. So what are the concepts that we're going to cover? We're going to cover CTEs, which are common table expressions. We will use a case statement, join, aggregation function, we're going to talk about outlier, standard deviation, and variation. We can filter with a where clause. And of course, we will be looking at grouping data and ordering data. And lastly, we want to break this query down into three steps. We want to calculate statistics by department. We want to create an outlier table. And then finally, we want to filter and sort the results by variation score. So this is what I query will look like in the end, but don't worry, I'll take you through this step by step, even though it's a long query. It will show off some skills and allow you to learn some fundamentals. And our final table will look something like this. So let's dive in to our actual query in Microsoft SQL Server database. Hi, so I'm in Microsoft SQL Server Studio. And what we're going to do is, this is number 18. I have a database that I created, and I have a table within that database called employee salaries. We're going to be using that as our data source. And if I just create a very easy select statement there, select wildcard from the employee salary, we will get all of the data, which we have the department, the department division, the employee number, position title, status, initial hire date, date and title, and the salary. Now the two, department, the two columns that we will be using are department and salary, and we will do a lot with those. So let's group by department and obtain the standard deviation and salary by department. And this is what the first query is going to do. So we are going to select that department we are going to take the standard deviation by using the standard deviation function. It's a built-in function. We just pass in the column, save it as standard deviation. We take the average of salary, save it as average. Then we take it from employee salaries. And then what we want to do is filter any salary that is less than 10,000. So we can make a operator greater than or equal to, and then finally we use a group by to group our data. So if I highlight that and run it, you can see we get our department, the standard deviation, and the salary. Now we have these long trailing decimal places. We will deal with those later. So now we have a table, but we want to be able to access this table and join it. That can be done with subqueries, but we're going to use common table expressions with width. And width is going to start the common table expression. I'm going to give my table a name, department stats. And then we use as. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to encapsulate that in parentheses, get rid of the semicolon, which indicates that the query is done. And once we have that table, we can select from it. So you can see I can use a select statement, select wildcard from, and then I use department stats. Department 
stats. And then I'll run this query here. And you can see we should get the same table back, which we do. Now, what we want to be able to do is build upon this query and join our next table that we want. So we want to be able to create a table with departmental outliers. So this is the next part of the query, and it's definitely a little bit more complicated than the one below, above, I mean. So I'm going to get rid of that select statement, and we're going to leverage this select statement. Now, you can see that you have these prefixes, EMP and DT. Let's deal with what those are first. These are aliases. So you can see that I have a from statement from employee salaries, and I've named that or aliased that EMP. So I want the department from EMP. And then we also want to do a calculation from EMP. So what we want to be able to do is get the z-score. Now, what is the z-score? So the z-score is going to be based on our standard deviation. Now, the z-score is going to allow us to see where our data falls. So our data falls within these z-scores. We can make an estimation what percent of our data if it's normally distributed. So you can see he, here that 95% of our data will be within 1.96 z-score, and we find that, so we want to make sure it's on both sides. So we use this score to say our data is, this is our upper bound and lower bound. So negative 1.96 would be our lower bound and 1.96 would be the upper bound of our data, and 95% of our data would fall in between that. So how do we calculate the z-score? We can very simply just use the data that we are concerned with, which is the salary, minus the average, which is the mean, divided by the standard deviation. Now, you can see from our table, we have everything in our departmental stats table that we encapsulated in a CTE. So we get our standard deviation, we get our average, and then we take the salary, which is the unaggregated salary, so it's that original table, and we, d we subtract the salary from the departmental average, which we have DT average, which we are getting from this table. Then we, we divide by the standard deviation of that particular department. And then we save that column as z-score. From the employees table, this is where we're taking that original salary from, we want to join our departmental stats CTE table here. And we, we alias that DT, and we want to join that on department from the original table to our aggregated table here. And then we also pass in our filter. Now that we have connected these two, we should be able to run them very quickly. And let me just pull this down so you can see that whole query. And if we run this, you can see what we get back is our information that we're looking for. What we get back is the department, the salary, the standard deviation, and the z-score. Now we have a way of identifying those outliers. So we join those tables, which we did, and then we select what we need. So let me pull this down a little bit. And now we have a much bigger query because now we want to be able to have this as a CTE also. So we do the same thing. We don't need with but we do need a name. So we have our first query, which we created as a CTE. Then we have our next query, which we just went over, and we're going to save that as departmental outliers. We create a CTE with as in a cap encapsulated, and now we go into our final query. I'm going to zoom in a bunch for this final part of the query here, and let me come up. 
So what are we doing? We know we have several tables that we can have access to. So I want to be able to select the department. I want to be able to create my z-score. But now I want another score. And that's going to be our coefficient of variation. And all that's going to be is the standard deviation that we got from that departmental table dt and the departmental average and we're going to save that as the coefficient of variation and what that allows us to do is to know how much variation is in that particular department so let's go over the query first we're going to get the department the standard deviation the average and we're going to create this coefficient of variation so now we have three columns now what I want to do is go back up to our departmental table and I want to be able to join that to the DT table. So I'm joining this table, which is a departmental outliers table, back to our department table. Use a case statement to say where that department outliers table, which I joined here and alias it at DO, I get the score from this table and anything above 1.96 and below 1.96. We want to count that as an outlier, else count it as a zero. And if we sum this, we're going to get the outlier count. We're going to get, we're going to select first from our departmental stats, join that on department and then I want to group by department standard deviation the average and the standard deviation um, which I uh, divided by the average now why can't we pull in the coefficient of variation because it's within this particular query so we can't pull the column out of the query that we're using now we would have to put it in a separate table and do that so if, and then I want to order by department. So let's run this query first, which is, again, we made the department stats table, the outliers stats table, and we join that on the department table. So we make sure that we have that final result. And then finally, what we did was we, we pulled the information from our outlier, so we could do a sum of outliers. We took the average from the departmental stats table, which just left joined everything, and then we group by all our variables. If I run all of this together, so if I query and run that, what we get back, we get the department, we get the standard deviation, the average, coefficient of variation, and the outlier count. So let's just make this a little cleaner by rounding these three columns. And I've already done that here, and I'll show you. All we do is add the round and the number of decimal places that we want rounded. So let me pull that down. So this is the same query, just round it off. So if now if I run this same query again, and what we get back is a bit cleaner table. And now we have a way of looking at our coefficient of variation. I just multiplied this by 100, uh, which is here for our coefficient of variation, because it's usually represented as a percentage. So our final query gives us several ways to make a decision and be able to give information back to our management on which of the departments should be considered for disparity. Although they ask for a list, we are going to be able to give an analysis based on our score. So let's dive into that analysis. So the three metrics to consider in for our analysis are the coefficient of variation, the salary standard deviation, and the outlier uh, count in that order. So now we know if we filter by the coefficient, and I'm going to run this again, and then we'll 
make sure we get all of the coefficient on top. We can see these are high numbers, but we may also want to consider our outlier count, which we can just go to the query and change the order by to outlier count and be able to get an understanding on which one of these have outliers. So I'm going to run that. And then you could see that we do have that PWD that we identified by our eye management, which should be a consideration. It has a lot of outliers of salary, so it should be added to our list. And we should also order by the standard deviation. Now let's see the top five that I chose and why I chose them. Here's the top five that I chose. I chose these based on our coefficient of variation, outliers, and salary deviation. I use CV for coefficient of variation. And I chose CMD because it had high CV, high standard deviation, and some outliers. ACR because it had high CV, a fair amount of standard deviation, and some outliers. CCC I chose because it had high CV and a fair amount of outliers. And as we saw, the most outliers was PWD, and it still had a fair amount of CV. And lastly, I chose CWA, which is a fair standard de deviation, high CV, and a fair number of outliers. Now, your list might be slightly different, but we're going to provide the whole list for them to evaluate. But this is an analysis that they can use that makes it effective. I hope you were able to learn something from this and be able to create a query that is fundamental and stretches your skills. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions at the bottom and any of your solutions. Thank you.